do you know why the white man really hates you? It's because every time he sees your face, he sees a mirror of his... He sees a mirror. A mirror of his crime. And his guilty conscience can't bear to face it. Anything I do today, I regard as urgent. No man is given but so much time to accomplish whatever is his life's work. My life in particular never has stayed fixed in one position for very long. You have seen how throughout my life I have often known unexpected drastic changes. I am only facing the facts when I know that any moment of any day or any night could bring me death. This is particularly true since the last trip that I made abroad. I have seen the nature of things that are happening and I have heard things from sources which are reliable. To speculate about dying doesn't disturb me as it might some people. The autobiography of Malcolm X is truly a book before its time, um, especially in the times that we're living in today. Um, he goes through his timeline from the time he was born all the way from the time of his death. He, he gave you scene by scene, um, from when he was out being a criminal and when Elijah Muhammad turned his life around, um, a complete transformation story. And this book really, um, dumb things down to me about Malcolm because we look at this great man and say like oh man like this guy was brilliant you know but he even tells you in this book that you can be this brilliant too you know um if you don't waste your time he spoke a lot about Malcolm spoke a lot about time um not only because he always felt he had a stop clock or a ticking time bomb of a life. You know, he, he always felt that he was going to die early, but he always talked about time. And every time you would see Malcolm, um, he would have on a watch and he would always look at his watch because he was all about time. And he always moved with a purpose. Even when he was doing his criminal thing, he moved with a purpose. You know, I got to go rob this person at seven o'clock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, very interesting, man. Um, I've read this book uh, twice. Um, well, spot reading anyway. I'm not going to lie and say that I read this whole book twice, but I've spot read it twice. Um, and and each time I've picked this book up, I've learned something. Um, it's just about life. You know, not only about Malcolm, but about life in general. And time man like <laughs> we waste a lot of time like I've I've had to you know um distance myself from from some things lately you know uh just really just just calm down not pick up the phone as much and just let it sit you know and not get on social media you know just to breathe man because we burn a lot of time just watching what's going on around us and not being in the moment of what's going on within us, you know. This is a man that has lived multiple lives in a short period of time. I mean, from the smart honor roll student to the criminal to the prisoner to the minister to the icon. You know, and he he was much more than that as well. I, I may have missed some things, but my whole point is like in this short period of time. He has experienced life. The world knows this man, Malcolm X, you know, and. A lot of us have so much greatness built within us that never sees the light of day because we're trapped. 
We're trapped. We're trapped in the time warp of watching others. We're trapped in we're trapped in what people think of us. We're trapped in others' perspective of us. Um, we're trapped in our own brain. But we have to live and be free. Like even though that he was a criminal and did bad things before he transformed into this you know icon even in the criminal acts i mean he 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 was living he was experiencing you know he 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 wasn't afraid he was curious and he he acted out on that curiosity and a lot of us are just so boxed in caged in feel like we can't do anything and we don't live and this is why you can't judge a criminal because you don't know what type of greatness that lies within them um great book it's crazy because it seems like every role that i have done thus far in my non-union career <laughs> has been roles of so much value man like something some of the things that i'm learning i could never learn in school like never and i went to college i got a four-year bachelor's degree and acting has showed me so much has taught me so much, you know, um, because I get to experience different characters, man. Like, it's so crazy, um, the amount of knowledge that I'm learning. But acting truly is a gem, man. Like, it's one of those um, crafts or art forms that is is overlooked in a sense. I mean, everybody's chasing that you know, um, popularity and fame, which isn't bad. You know, I'm chasing it too. I, I, I want to, I want to get out of being non-union. I want to be on TV and things like that. But, um, we see acting as just that. And we don't realize the great value of just being able to put on somebody else's shoes and walk their walk and learn something different. You know, if, if white people could walk in black people's shoes and black people can walk in white people's shoes if if mexican people can walk in chinese people's shoes like we would all like have an understanding of how how we're and maybe then we would understand how it feels to be you know a different race or have a different mindset or come from a different environment and then you know maybe we would have a little more compassion for one another and acting can give you that you know uh or not, i don't even act just just reading if you if you read somebody else's story you don't have to be an actor i'm not telling the whole world to be an actor but what i'm saying is being an actor has taught me so much that i couldn't get from school you know at all you know and i'm still you know searching for a career path outside of acting because i'm so much more than that it's just a, it's a, it's a tool. It's a vehicle, you know, that's going to get me to the real purpose, you know, but, um, I said all this to say, I said all of this to say, um, get off of my story, go live your life and check out Malcolm X's autobiography. Um, beautiful 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 story of transformation um and time man walk with a purpose walk urgent you know we don't have time to waste man that's why oh this next move oh uh, let me be quiet but i'm getting off later oh yeah we filming honorable tomorrow so hey this film is gonna be stupid dope